the earliest known hominids were born in Africa. And we Homo sapiens were also born here. But the evolutionary path to our species was neither flat nor straight. Through the evolutionary process, the relatives of humanity split into roughly 20 species. Some of them coexisted and were fierce rivals in the struggle for survival. The species we descended from were not the physically strongest. In fact, they were among the weaker. They survived periods of intense difficulty staging a series of amazing comebacks. Today, there are 7.6 billion Homo sapiens on Earth. We are the planet's dominant species. How have we achieved this success? We look for answers at the dawn of humanity. Africa, the cradle of the human race. The first hominids took their first steps on this terrain. Deep in the jungles lies an animal that can help us imagine the origins of humanity. These are chimpanzees. Humanity's family tree diverged from chimpanzees about seven million years ago. Chimps are our oldest surviving relatives. So human evolution is often illustrated with a stereotyped expression of one single path, from bent over chimps to upright modern humans. But the story was not so simple. There used to be many other hominids besides we, Homo sapiens, and we continue to discover more. We currently know of roughly 20 different species. At times, multiple species are thought to have coexisted. The path leading to Homo sapiens looks like this. The other lineages became extinct without leaving evolutionary descendants. An important hominid that paved the way to our existence was Ardipithecus ramidus. A. ramidus is the oldest hominid species confirmed to be bipedal. It lived in forests, but started walking on two legs. This was rare in the forest and seemingly a disadvantage. But A. ramidus won out against the quadrupeds. What was the secret to its success? A clue to answering this question was discovered in Ethiopia. This is an archeological site called Middle Awash. You finished up here? For many years, Tim White has been leading an international team in excavating this site. Then we reach the fault. Nice, baby monkey. This is a colobus monkey, leaf-eating monkey. Died 4.4 million years ago. Finds made here by White and his team have revealed that this landscape was once a vast forest and that it was home to an ancestral hominid species with some surprising features. Yes! Proximal hand phalanx, Artipithecus ramidus. Over a decade, they restored hundreds of hand-collected bones and revealed the bodily features of an early hominid that lived 4.4 million years ago. Ramidus was approximately 120 centimeters tall. It had an unusual body with a small head and long arms and legs. Its feet were shaped like a monkey's and were capable of grabbing things. This indicates that Ramidus lived in trees. Its pelvis, however, is different from an ape's. Let's compare with a chimpanzee. 
a chimpanzee has a long and narrow pelvis. How about ours? The human pelvis is broader. It supports the organs that move down when we stand up. Ramadus has a rather wide pelvis that more closely resembles a modern human's more than a chimpanzee's. In short, Ramadus was probably bipedal. It started walking on two legs while still living in the trees. This overturned the common theory that bipedalism started in the grasslands after hominids left the trees.